Friday the 21st of October 2022. It's uh, one day before the start of our uh, gratitude run here at Lawrenceford Wine Estate. What a privilege, you know, to be in this beautiful place. Um, you know, it's springtime, the, the flowers are blooming, the trees are green. Uh, just a privilege to be um, in this beautiful part of, of creation. Um, yeah, we've had a tough two days. We've set up uh, the route, the 10K trail run. James and Clinton, two of my friends, were out on, on the course the entire uh, six, seven hours yesterday. Probably one of the best marked trail runs out there, so we don't want anybody to get lost. And today we spent some more time to mark out the 3K uh, uh, relay, relay event route, the 5K fun run walk. So yeah, it's just a lot happening, a lot happening in the background. My admin team which includes uh, my wife assistant a few other ladies been busy for days on end um, just sorting out all the admin all the entries um, you know getting all the race packs together so yeah it's lots and lots of hours but uh, it's all culminating in a in a beautiful day which we yeah we are sure it's going to be attended well the numbers looks great we've got record numbers in terms of our online entries just over 700 online entries uh, which is about 36 percent more than the previous event we're expecting probably close to 150 people entering on the on the morning as well so yeah i think we're definitely gonna be ab above the 800 mark so for for a, co a community event let's call it that uh, like the gratitude run i think it's just awesome so yeah really just looking forward to to welcoming everybody there's going to be wonderful food stalls uh, great coffee um, yeah, great uh, master of ceremony in Colin Heckwood. Um And yeah, I'm just standing here really thankful for everybody that has pitched up, that has contributed to this event. We've got wonderful sponsors. Um, I'm thinking of Aqua Sky, uh, wonderful guys that um, makes water out of air. Can you imagine that? Uh, they've donated lots of water. We've got um, just many people that pitched up to um, to make this event possible and I think a special thank you to the to the folks here at Lawrenceford Wine Estate um, we're getting this venue you know free of charge they've got people that laid power for us um, you know that took us around we got a bucket that we could use so yeah just a big thank you to to Lawrenceford um, you know Kua Shordan and his team uh, we can't do this kind of event without you and this is a community event. This is for the people of the Helderberg and, and, and the Greater Western Cape uh, D4D distance for difference um, You know, we we in existence to make a difference through sport. Uh, this is a running event Thank you. 
How was that, bro? How was that? Is that hey, like, how, did, how did it feel? Did it, was it tiring? Did you want to give up at one point? Yeah, daddy. And what made you keep going, bro? I love it, I love it. Tell me, Benji, why did you come today, bro? Why are you here? Because I love running. I love it. Benji Miller, 5K. Nice. Well done. Here you go. Well done, guys. Awesome stuff. Proud dad. Very proud. Very good. Come on. They're just great kids. Yeah, there you go. Great kids. Shaking it up. Well done, guys. Well, good luck. What do you tell yourself in a time like this when it's tough and you're not sure you can make it? What do you do? Never give up. I love it. Never give up. For need for speed. Thank you for everybody that was here. Please be with me on the on the roads back home, and thank you for our blessings and um, you know, everything that you do, that you do in our lives and that you're part of our lives. All glory to you. Amen. Amen. Our aim is to to raise close to 250,000 rand. Hopefully, we are still way off that mark. Um, you know, the event does cost us money as well, so there's lots of costs going down, and uh, we are we need to recover that. Um, but yeah, in the end, we always have wonderful, you know, donors as well. People that come to the party and, um, you know, with us make a difference. Why do we do this? We do this for children, children in need, um, vulnerable children. We uh, support a number of foster homes, children's organizations, children, uh, cerebral palsy uh, kind of uh, institutions, institutions that looks after small babies. Uh, until they get adopted. So yeah, over the 18 years of uh, D4D's existence, we've uh, yeah we've raised close to 11 or just over 11 million rand, and and we're able to distribute that very responsibly. We've got a board of directors that you know look after um, the way that we spend our money, that we go and do investigations um, at all the charities that apply for funding. And I really do believe we've uh, done a, a great job in responsibly caring for children in need in, in uh, South Africa. Um, and it's just a privilege to, to be involved in, in uh, something like this, to be surrounded with a bunch of wonderful people. You know, people like the one you know, behind the camera, just also doing this pro bono for us. Um, people coming to the party, giving their time, their effort, their resources, their money. Uh, we can't do it with, without people like you listening to this video uh, today as well. So from my side, Stefan, the rest of my team, thank you. <laughs> 